Your Favitec Studio Pro Daylight Balanced Compact Fluorescent Light Kit contains two 24 by 36 inch five socket soft boxes and one easy setup 20 by 28 inch single socket soft box with boom arm kit. Included in the kit should be three seven and a half foot adjustable light stands, two 1000 watt five socket lamp heads with 24 by 36 inch soft boxes, 11 65 watt photofluorescent spiral daylight light bulbs, one 20 by 28 inch soft box with an AC socket, one five foot basic boom arm with sandbag, and one carrying bag for the kit. You may have noticed there is not any sand or weights for the sandbag. We'll cover what to put in the bag later in this video. First, take out one of your adjustable light stands. Remove the black protective cap on the top of the stand, then loosen the T-handle at the top of the folding leg segment. Lower that section until the stabilizing bars are parallel to the ground. Tighten the T-handle until it is snug and not overly tight. It doesn't take a large amount of force to secure the T-handle, approximately a quarter turn. Be aware that too much force will crimp or damage the aluminum tubing. Next, Take out a 1000 watt five headlight socket, four steel rods, a 24 by 36 inch soft box, the 16 by 21 inch inner diffuser, and the 24 by 36 inch diffuser, and place them on a flat surface. The soft boxes in this kit have eight rod slots in the head, allowing vertical, horizontal, and diagonal soft box orientations. Alternating slots are used for each of the setups. Today, we will demonstrate the horizontal configuration. Take the softbox and place it over the socket with the silver side up. Then slide the softbox over the one inch front lip. This is important because those holes are where we are going to put the steel rods. Place your first rod into the slot directly to the left of the top center on the head. Make sure that the softbox is oriented around the lamp head with the longest side parallel to the top and the Studio Pro logo right side up. Place one end of the steel rod in the hole on the socket and the other end in the tab. Repeat this for the next steel rod directly across from it, and for the other two steel rods. At this stage, we install the bulbs. Take out five of your 65 watt photofluorescent spiral daylight bulbs. Install the first bulb in the center socket, and then the four outside sockets. The maximum wattage these sockets can handle is 85 watts. If you try to use 100 watt bulbs, you can burn your kit. Next, we can install our diffusion. The first layer is the 16 by 21 inch inner diffusion panel. Secure the four hooks to their corresponding elastic hoops. It's okay if the inner diffusion touches the light bulbs. Fluorescent bulbs don't give off enough heat to burn the diffusion. It's not recommended to allow the diffusion to touch tungsten bulbs or regular household bulbs as the heat may burn the diffusion. You may now add the outer 24 by 36 inch diffusion panel. Pull the outsides over the softbox and secure it with the two Velcro strips. Finally, loosen the T-handle on the bottom of the socket so you can place the lamp on the stand. You can now place the light on the adjustable stand. Tighten it with a quarter turn. Raise the light to your working height. Loosen the tilt knob to adjust the tilt of the lamp. You can repeat these steps for the other 24 by 36 inch softbox. Next, we will assemble the backlight on the boom arm. First, set up the last adjustable stand just like you did before. You will need to acquire between four and five pounds of weight for your sandbag. You can put sand into freezer bags and weigh them into two two pound bags and one one pound bag. You could also use weights. Many wrist and ankle weights have one pound weight bags or rods inside of them. If you use the freezer bag method, always use dry dirt and double your bag. Next, place the 5 8 inch stem, grip head, boom arm, sandbag, and 20 by 28 inch softbox on a flat surface. Make sure the black plastic cap is not on the stand, otherwise the grip head will not slide far enough on the spud and will not sufficiently attach to the stand. Next, loosen the bottom T handle on the grip head and attach it to the stand. Now, loosen the T-handle and slide the boom arm through the correctly sized hole. You should allow at least a quarter of the boom arm to be on the weighted sandbag side. Attach the sandbag connector. 
If you're unsure of the amount of weight to use, place four pounds of weight in your sandbag and attach it to the boom arm. Now, lay the 20 by 28 inch softbox on a flat surface. If you look inside, you'll find a plastic ring that is attached to the metal rods. Slide it over the socket and press down. Then you can insert the bulb. Next, take the outer diffusion and attach it like you did with the other lights. Next, loosen the T-handle on the 20 by 28 inch softbox and attach it to the boom arm. Then tighten it. You can now extend the boom arm to the desired length and adjust the weight as needed. As the length of the boom arm increases, the greater the required weight. When properly weighted, the softbox should stay at the desired position with the locking handle of the grip head barely tightened. Once balanced, make it snug, but not overly tight. Always be aware of booming gear over your actors and crew. Never put your actors and crew at risk. As the producer, you can be liable for any injury or damage occurring on your set. As always, if you have any questions, please let us know. We're here to help you.